Hey guys, what's up? K. Allen here and welcome back to another video on the channel. As you guys can see, we're an ultimate team and today we're going to be doing an 85 rated Team of the Week Leandro Trossard review. So it's 5 foot 7 tall, high medium work rates, right footed primarily with 4 star skills and a 4 star weak foot coming in at around 23,000 coins so that's how much I bought him for. As of right now, it's going for around 17 to 18,000. He can start a left wing, left mid, cam and striker. New links for him, he's got the Arsenal links when it comes down to the club which is much better than Brighton in terms of links in this game he's got Premier League links and the Belgium links as well I've gone with the Maestro Kem style pace on the card I think with the 96 acceleration he's going to feel very fast so it is what it is I'm not going to bother boosting the sprint speed because he's going to play at camp and striker when it comes down to the shooting shot power goes up to 93 long shots to 94 and volleys up to 85 passing looks very good 88 vision 84 free kick accuracy, 89 short pass and 90 long pass along with 90 curve. Dribbling looks sensational, 99 agility, 91 balance. Reaction is needed at boost which is why I've gone for the Maestro Kem style. Taking it up to 85, ball control 84, dribbling up to 95 and he does have 88 composure and surprisingly enough, 82 heading accuracy with 88 jumping. I did not know this guy could score headers but apparently he can and he does also have 84 stamina strength and aggression isn't that great but that is pretty expected from this Leandro Trossard card now he does have the flare traits and the outside foot shot traits I have already mentioned where I'm going to be playing this guy so without further ado let's jump straight into the gameplay highlights with 85 rated team of the week Leandro Trossard so straight off the bat here in the first clip find a big gets it into Gakpo Simons one side of him Trossard the other finds Leandro Trossard who hammers it in on that left foot into the back of the net great finish from Leandro Trossard and we do have the first goal of this video with the Belgian international on the 4 star week which just slams it in great goal moving on to the next clip showcasing the dribbling and creativity on the card gets it at around the halfway line gets away from one and two I need a passing option Simons eventually makes a run perfect pass and the finish is perfect as well right into the bottom corner and we get the first assist of this video but yeah can we get another goal very similar to the first one takes a touch can i get past Nemanja Vidic yes i can and from a much tighter angle he is still able to find the back of the net smashed in on that left foot and he goes over to the crowd to celebrate heading into the second half of this match Trossard has it great dribbling does very well to keep it can he get around more a bit jammy there to keep the ball and here even more jammy does very very well to get away from Bobby Moore goes for goal and unfortunately that shot is blocked but it does come to Xavi Simmons and two seconds later after some great dribbling with him we do end up scoring by the way you guys want to see a review on him I have made one you can find it on the channel moving on to the next clip showcasing the heading on the card which like I said is surprisingly very good when you look at the stats so he well makes use of those stats and he scores a very good header jumps up very high and that's a very accurate header from Leandro Trossard and we do end up scoring. Heading on to the next clip, this is in the second half of this game if I'm not mistaken. Gakpo over the top, Xavi Simons loses it, it comes out to Leandro Trossard. Can we just create a chance here? Brilliant dribbling and what a finish that is from Trossard. Smashes it into the near post on that preferred right foot and we do end up scoring. But we're not done just yet. Simons gets it into Sadio Mane. Can we go for goal? Yes I can but it gets blocked. Trossard is in the way of the goalkeeper and the ball. Gets that pass from Mane and very similar finish to the previous goal. Gets it into the near post and the trademark celebration that everyone has been copying. Petri and Garnacho to say the least and we do end up scoring. On to the next clip. Great pace. Gets away from one and two. And on the right foot he finds the top corner. Great finish once more from Leandro Trossard. And we do end up getting a goal to give us the lead in this game. But this guy's gone ahead and equalized. Fun to bake though, gets it into Trossard, again going to test out the passing. Xavi Simons making a great run, Trossard with a beautiful pass outside of the left boot. Simons with a bouncing finish into the back of the net. But we're not done just yet, moving on to the last match of this video. Xavi Simons has it, I see Trossard making the run, that is a beautiful pass and that control on the chest to take it down is absolutely sensational and it's 2-1 in this match. But we're not done like I have said or have been saying throughout this video. This guy always has more to offer. I'm not quite sure what this guy's doing with his goalkeeper though. But Trossard wins it back and we finally get a goal from outside the box. Simple enough finish but good strength. Gets to it. Good pace to get out to Petr Cech very quickly. Puts him under pressure and we do end up scoring a pretty simple 
and straightforward goal. But here, this guy has scored and from kickoff you can get past one. Great hit to hold off more, gets past his man and rolls the finish into the bottom corner. Once more on the four star, we put ridiculous dribbling from Leandro Trossard and we do end up scoring. But here the last clip of this video, a match winning assist from Leandro Trossard. That is a beautiful pass across the face of goal and Xavi Simons is able to just tuck it away very neatly into the back of the net. So with that being said, it is time to review the card. And as you guys will see from the player bio, this guy has a sensational goal return. Four games, nine goals and three assists. So 12 goal contributions in four games is honestly absolutely sensational. Now this is all in Division 3 in Division Rivals. And obviously people were rushing to play their milestone games and get wins for weekend. Well, sorry. Yeah, for weekend qualification points as well, I guess. As well as just the eight wins in Rivals that you need per week. In order to get the upgraded rewards but anyway when it comes down to the attribute details on the card i'm gonna go ahead and give the pace an 8.8 .8 out of 10. this is interesting now the acceleration is sensational he is very very quick on the ball and running it behind is going to get caught basically well nine times out of ten because he accelerates very quickly but only to a sprint speed of of 82 my bad so the pace on the card is a bit of a problem and you can give him a hunter cam style in my opinion if you are playing him at striker. So yeah, the pace on the card would get that boost from the hunter cam style maxing out the acceleration and giving the sprint speed a plus 8 if I'm not mistaken which will be pretty useful. But moving on to the shooting on the card, the shooting is very good, the finishing is sensational, the attack positioning is very good, makes the right runs, is able to hold off into the space, makes those runs into the space and he always makes the right run somehow finishing is decent shot power is very good he always smashes it into the back of the net and he can sometimes just go for the finesse and roll it past the goalkeeper he can definitely do that as well and the long shots didn't really get a chance to test it out apart from the one from outside the box where the goalkeeper just gifted us possession penalties didn't really get to try out as well and same goes for the volleys but the shooting on the card all in all is very good the finishing is pretty solid so i'm gonna go ahead and give him an 8.8 .8 out of 10 for shooting Passing is ridiculously, ridiculously good. Honestly, the passing on this card is sensational. One of the best parts of the card, in my opinion, just better than the shooting. And I think the short pass and long pass boost does make a huge difference. So passing does get an 8.9 out of 10. I don't quite think it's good enough to classify as a 9 and above, but 8.9 definitely. When it comes down to the dribbling, the agility on the card is very very good and so is the balance and coupled with the 96 acceleration the left stick on this card is sensational he does need that boosted reaction though in my opinion so that getting a boost taking it up to 85 is very important and getting a dribbling boost as well is obviously very nice so when it comes down to the dribbling i'm gonna go ahead and give him a 9.1 out of 10 he feels very quick on the ball very quick on the dribble especially from that cam position so dribbling like i said it gets a 9.1 out of 10. now physical he does last the full 90 jumping is surprisingly very good and he does have strength to hold off players here and there and while well, he's pretty evasive on the ball as well so as you guys saw from one of the clips earlier on where i ended up going for goal shot got blocked and then shabby simon scored a brilliant brilliant goal afterwards he did very well to hold off well actually not hold off but evade Bobby Moore in the first place, I think it was, who he got past before he got back and made the block. So yeah, this card is definitely evasive and the physical does get, in my opinion, a 7.5 out of 10. Is this card worth the 20,000 coins? Yeah, I would say so, 100%. This card is a very, very good card. For 20k, it's a bargain. You can definitely play him in your team, play him in weekend league. Actually, he'll do a pretty good job. Best position is definitely the camp position though. And I do 100% recommend him for your team. At the camp position though, best camp style I would say is the Maestro camp style. You can try him out as striker with the Hunter camp style as well if you really, really need to. So with that being said, I do bring it into the video. If you like this video, smash the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until then guys, stay tuned for the next one. Peace.